Hi everyone, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Thank you for joining me today in this chair yoga sequence. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be on the chair, doing a little bit of moves here, and then we'll get up off of the chair and use the chair as a supporting device to help us in our full sequence of chair yoga. So let's get started. We're of course going to have our feet hip width distance apart, supporting our knees on top of our ankles and our shoulders right on top of our waist. We'll start our practice with closing our eyes, connecting to our bodies and connecting to our breath. So let's go ahead, close our eyes, take a nice deep breath in and exhale out. Do that again, breathing in and exhale out. One more time, inhaling, exhale, let everything go, <sighs> preparing for our practice. Perfect. We're going to open up our eyes, take our arms all the way up to the sides of us, breathing in, reach and lengthen, and exhale, hands to the heart. Breathe out. <sighs> inhale again, arms up nice and wide, chest up, back straight, and hands to the heart. Exhale out. Again, breathing in and exhale, breathing out. We're always trying to connect breath with movement so that we can really get into our bodies, connecting with our lungs and connecting to seeing how we're feeling today. <sighs> One more time, inhaling and exhale, hand to the heart. Well done. Okay, we're gonna take our hands down to the side, onto our legs. Let's go ahead and take our left arm all the way up. Inhale and exhale, breathe out. <sighs> Breathing in, nice tall stretch. Exhale, breathe out. If you wanna draw the belly in as you do that, even better. Lengthen the spine, draw the belly in, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling, breathing out. Let's take our hands to the sides of us now. Just relax those shoulders, keep that spine nice and tall. Lift up, inhale, reach, and exhale, gently sway. Now when we sway, our bottom shoulder and our top shoulder is gonna be nice and relaxed. Perfect, come on back up. Breathing in, exhale, breathe out. Inhale, lift, and exhale, breathe out. Perfect, come on back up, lift, and exhale, release. Other side, lift and lengthen. Exhale, stretch. Don't forget, top shoulder, bottom shoulder, relax. Okay, come on back up. Breathing in and out. Inhaling, lift and breathe out. Awesome. Come on back up. Lift and release. Let's go ahead and roll those shoulders out. Three times a charm. Three, ooh, that feels good two and one ah let's take our fingertips on the tops of our shoulders i like you to try to draw that elbow up and around we're going to do the other one up and around it's going to feel like almost like we're moving the torso well guess what we are we're going to start to move into our waist so you need to soften a little bit into the waist but keeping the chest up nice and tall don't forget to breathe Ooh, this feels really good. So we're opening up our chest, putting some mobility into our shoulders. Don't forget, connecting breath with movement. So breathing in and out, in and out. Now let's switch. I want you to start to round out that back. So I'm not gripping onto my shoulders. They're just lightly touching, okay? Breathing in and out, rounding out my back, really opening into my shoulder blades. Ooh, that feels really good. Okay, we're gonna release. Ah, breathe in, reach up to the top and breathe out. Take your hands down. Inhale, lift the shoulders up and exhale, roll them back. We're gonna do that again. Breathing in, touch. Breathing out, bring them down. Inhale, lift up the shoulders and roll them back. One more time, breathing in, touch. Breathing out, hands down. Inhale, shoulders up, whoosh, and shoulders back. Ah, now with those shoulders nicely down away from those ears, it's 
Go ahead and look over to our right. Good, breathing here. In and out. Come on, back to center. Inhale. Exhaling. Come on, back to center. Right ear to right shoulder. Now, to really get into this posture, we want to soften into these shoulders and go ahead and reach those left fingertips out to the side. This, we're going to send energy through those fingertips just to just emphasize a little bit into that stretch. Breathe in and out and release. And gently come on back up. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Okay, so now we have the left ear to the left shoulder. Whoosh, this is a grumpy side for me. We're gonna take those fingertips out. Whoosh, that adds a little extra oomph. Reaching energetically with those right fingertips outward. Feeling that nice, gentle stretch here. Breathing in and out. Ah, release, come on back to center. Okay, now let's take our chin. Bring it down to our chest, and then let's go ahead and look back up. Okay, let's look up to the sky gently. Breathing in, chest up. Lead with your sternum up to the sky. Look up slightly, inhale, and exhale. Okay, now depending on your cervical spine, your neck, bones, I want you to see if you can gently roll the neck nice and slow, okay? Now please do not hold your breath, breathing in and out. So I get that this can be very uncomfortable for many. I actually suffer from arthritis in my neck, so I have to be very careful. But if I stop moving my neck, then I'm gonna be in bigger trouble. So we're gonna go the other way. Don't forget to breathe. <sighs> Don't forget, motion is lotion for the body. So the more we move, the more lubricated and the more limber we're gonna feel. Whoosh. Good, come on back to center. Breathe in. <sighs> How does that feel? Okay, let's do a half sun salutation on the chair. We're gonna take the arms all the way up from the sides of us, up fingertips to the sky. My belly's drawn in and my heart is lifted. The crown of my head is reaching up. So I'm gonna lift all the way up. Touch, breathe in, breathe out. We're gonna have our hands to the sides of us. Inhale here and I would like you to gently hinge at the hips. Take the hands coming down to the sides of the body. Breathe out. Now with a nice tight belly, and putting weight into the heels. We're gonna slide on up, breathing in, and then exhale, we're gonna come on back down, breathing out. And you'll notice how I'm kind of rubbing onto my legs, kind of stimulating the meridians and the channels of my legs. And then from here, we're gonna tighten the belly muscles, hinge at the waist, lead with the chest, come on all the way up, breathing in, and exhale, breathing out. Do you think we can do a couple more of those? Okay, so very important. We're gonna engage the belly muscles to support our lower back. So we need to breathe in. Exhale, breathe out, hands down to the sides. Okay, breathing in, chest up, hinge at the waist, breathe out. Hands are gonna come down to the sides of our legs. With a nice tight belly, come on up. Tight, tight belly, supporting your lower back. Inhale here, exhale, come on down. Now hinging at the waist, tight belly, reach all the way up to the sky. Inhale, reach, lengthen, and then exhale, take your hands to the heart. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. Breathing in, and exhale, breathing out. Inhale here, and then exhale, breathing out. Whoosh. Inhale with a nice tight belly, come on up to flat back. Exhale, down to the toes, breathing out. Tight belly, come on all the way up. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, breathing out. Did you hear that little noise in the background? That's signaling us to get up off of our chair. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We warmed up the body a little bit, moved our neck. I want you to feel comfortable enough 
to get up out of your chair. Okay, so we're gonna press into our hands out of the chair, and I want you to go ahead and move your chair to this position, okay? So whenever we're using the chair as a supportive device for our chair yoga, it's very important the same principles apply. We need to have our hips, our knees stacked on top of the ankles, okay? So when we're here standing nice and tall, I want your feet to be hip width distance apart, okay? So not close together and not too wide, just right underneath your hips for support. So you'll notice that I'm in my bare feet. I love to practice yoga with bare feet and I think it's very important we all do that because you really get grounded and set into our, um, into our feet. So with your hands placed onto the chair, I'd like you to gently and easily step back with your right foot, okay? So did you notice what I did there? I just stepped back very comfortably. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna readjust my front foot so that I'm in a nice little tripod stance here. Now tripod meaning three legs, but we only have two. So just nicely, nice stance here. You'll notice that my feet are planted nice and secure on the ground. So the heel is not up on either foot. I'm spreading my toes so I'm getting really nice grip into the floor and I want you to remember this when we do the other side. Okay, so plant those feet nicely into the ground and you'll notice the same principles apply here. Okay, so now not my hip is on top of my ankle, but my knee is still on top of my ankle for support. Okay, the front knee. My shoulders are on top of my waist, so I'm feeling nice and tall. So from here, I'd like you to take the right arm up, breathing in and exhale, breathing out. Ooh, that was pretty easy, right? Left arm, breathing in and breathing out. Now, I'd like you to incorporate the front knee. So we're going to straighten that front leg, take the right arm up, inhale, and then exhale. When we bring the hand down, I want you to bend into that knee, okay? We're gonna continue that five times. Breathing in, arm comes up, we straighten the front leg, and then we bend back into that knee, and the arm comes down. Inhaling, nice and tall spine, exhale. Okay, again, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. How many have we done? Let's do one more. Breathing in and breathing out. Well done. Ooh, got a little nice calf stretch there, didn't we? Let's go ahead and stand up. Breathe here and exhale, breathe out. Okay, let's do the other side. So gently, easily step back with the other foot. Okay, now I'm gonna scooch my front toes of my right foot and then bend my front knee so that it's right on top of the ankle, feeling nice and secure. And just go ahead and check, go ahead and look down. Are my heels planted on the floor? Ask yourself, are those toes spread out nice and wide so you feel really rooted into the earth? Now, shoulders are gonna be on top of the waist, okay? Chest up, back straight, like what I tell my son, and then lift the crown of your head up to the sky. We're gonna start with the left arm this time. If you can coordinate it right from the get-go, let's do that. So we're gonna straighten the front knee, straighten that front knee, lift the left arm up. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, other arm, breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. You're doing great. Inhale, lift and release. Breathing in and release, inhaling and exhaling, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhale. Let's do one more, in and out. Okay, well done. Let's go ahead and step back, Keep feet hip width distance apart, take a breath here, breathe in and out. Now, I'm sure you've heard of downward facing dog, right? Well, you don't have to be on a mat to do downward facing dog. You can do it with a chair. It's called, um, so it's called, ooh, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So we're gonna do that. That's the Sanskrit term for doing that on the chair um, and the mat, but let's go ahead and do it on the chair. So how to do that, we're gonna step back a little bit further than we had before 
so that your arms distance from the chair. I want you to bend those knees, stick out your bum, stick the tail out, and then stretch the backs of your arms and the shoulders, bending your knees, draw the belly in, and I want you to think about lifting both sits bones up to the sky. Take a breath here, breathing in and out. One more breath in and out. So this is a full body stretch, arms, belly, and legs. So bend those knees, you're gonna feel into the hamstrings. Let's do one more breath in and out. Now, I just want to notice you to notice here, I did not drop my head. So do not drop your head below the arms. Keep it above, neutral to your spine or at the edge of your arms, never below. Good, we've had enough of that. Let's walk our feet toward the chair and release. Ah, well done. That was a great introduction to using the chair as a supportive device in chair yoga. Let's go ahead, spin that chair around and find ourselves back on the chair seated. Again, feet are hip width distance apart, shoulders right on top of the waist. Let's go ahead and work on our legs now since we've kind of stretched up those calves. We're gonna take our hands to the sides of the um, chair and let's go ahead and stretch out the leg. Breathe in, breathe out, inhaling, stretch, Exhale, release, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhaling. Now during that time you were doing that, did you feel like you needed to engage your belly? That was important, wasn't it? Okay, now let's go ahead and take the leg up and out, up and release. Whoosh, tight belly here. Breathe in, breathe out, breathing in, sit tall, breathe out. Let's do that again. In, out, inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in, breathing out, in and out. Can we do one more on each side? In, out with the breath, breathing in and out. Again, in, out, in, and exhale, well done. Okay, let's go ahead and do a gentle twist while we're seated. So let's take our hands on top of our thighs. I want you to take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. And this, which is my left, but your right is gonna come right behind you, nice and seated on the seat, right close to your sits bones, okay? We're gonna lift and lengthen up to the crown of our head. So breathe in. Lengthen out that spine and then exhale, gently twist over to the right, okay? We're gonna breathe in again and exhale, gently twist. One more time, breathing in and exhale, breathe out. Remember to keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. So with those relaxed shoulders and stay, excuse me, staying in this twist, I want you to take your head just look gently over that left shoulder. Ooh, this is a nice little stretch on the neck and the shoulder. Breathe in and out. You can relax that back arm if you need to. Breathing in and out. Inhale and then exhale, unwind. Unwind that body on the exhalation. Let's do the other side. So let's go ahead and take this right hand to the outside of that left leg. The left hand's gonna come behind you nice and close to the sits bones. It's kind of like a little kickstand. It's gonna prop you up. We're gonna breathe in, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, gently twist. Relax the shoulders. If you need to relax into the hips, please do that. Okay, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. This goes really great into my shoulder blades, which are very tight lately. Breathing in, lift, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Ah. Staying in this twist, we're gonna breathe in, and then let's gently look over that right shoulder and breathe. You'll notice 
I like to close my eyes in some of these stretchy poses. The reason why is because it allows me to relax and surrender into those poses. So it deepens into the stretch. One more breath in and out. Ha. Ah. Okay. To get out of this pose, let's breathe out on the unwind. Breathe in and then unwind. Breathe out. Ha. Ah. Ooh, that feels good. Let's roll the shoulders out. We deserve it. Three. Two and one. Let's start to work on the little bit rest of the arms and our fingers. We do a lot with our hands and our fingers, especially if you have a smart device. I'm sure we're using them, mostly those thumbs, but let's work the other parts, okay? So I want you to pretend that you are playing the piano, but it's a grand piano, so that means that it needs a little more force. So go ahead, play that grand piano and start doing some scales. So if you've never played the piano before, but now you are, the imaginary air piano. So you'll notice I'm like kind of tapping and maybe pounding a little. In my mind, it's gonna be really, it's a really great song. It's really good scales. We're gonna go all the way across. Good. Now, come on up and let's do it in the sky. Piano in the sky. Reach all the way up. And then let's go the other side. Are you starting to feel fatigued? Good, because you are working those forearms and working those fingers. Good, come on down, breathe out. Whoosh, let's shake it all out. And I want you to take a rest here. Breathe in and out. Okay, take the fingertips and fingers and um, interlace them together, please. Let's go ahead and roll out those wrists. So I'm just kind of, taking my hands together and I'm rolling it one way and then now I'm rolling it the other way. Great. And let's go ahead and do our roller coaster. I love doing this roller coaster. It's like getting down with the moves. Okay. Now can you go the other way and just look as smooth and as flowy and the other way. Let's go ahead and do that. Whoosh. Good. Now with the fingers interlaced still, I want you to reach up. Lengthen out, ooh, and then breathe out, release. <sighs> Perfect. Take your hands down and I want you to notice, what do you feel? Where do you feel it? Are the arms, are the fingers tingling a little? Have you started to really energize and spark those little energy forces of the body? Take a breath. Now, the fingers got a lot of stimulation. The toes are jealous, right? Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's bring that left knee into the chest. Ooh, big hug. And then release. Okay, we're gonna get down to those toes. But before we do, let's gonna get into these legs. Breathe in, grabbing onto the uh, um, shins here, and breathe out. Okay, now, I lifted up that leg because we wanna cross them here. We're gonna take the ankle on top of the thigh here. Awesome. Now, with those nice stimulated fingers that have a lot of chi and energy and life force in it, we're going to take our fingers in between each one of our toes. Oosh. So if you wear shoes a lot and you're not on your bare feet, this is gonna be ooh, a little bit grumpy at first, but let me tell you, if any one of you has a foot doctor, they are gonna love you for this because this is a great exercise. I want you to take those fingers, get them into your toes. Ooh, okay, that in itself can be enough for some. Just breathe and be with it right here. <sighs> okay, and for those of you who want a little more, I'm gonna ask you to keep those fingers there and start to rotate the ankle a little. Going one way, and we're going the other way. Great. Okay, we're gonna undo those, undo those fingers, and I want you to press into your feet. So I'm using my thumbs and my fingers, and so most of you know that I'm an acupuncturist that practices Chinese medicine, and 
it's very important that we stimulate the important parts of the body. And guess what? The bottom of the foot is the beginning of our kidney channel. And according to Chinese medicine, the kidneys are our essence. It's like the beginning. It's, our, it's the beginning of who we became before it's like conception at the beginning of time for us. So we're gonna press into the bottoms of our feet into that beautiful kidney one point, okay? So just press right there, kind of right where the ball of the foot is, but then go ahead and press into all of the bottom of the feet. It's gonna feel really good. And then now, one by one by one, I'd like you to just kind of wiggle each toe. So I'm gonna wiggle the baby toe, wiggle the fourth toe, the middle toe, the second toe, and I'm squeezing and giving a little pinch, a little like love squeeze, little love, love squeeze, and then into the big toe. Big squeeze, 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 squeeze. Ah, perfect. Now I'm just gonna give my foot a little tap. That's one way to stimulate it, right? And I want you to wiggle the toes like you're playing a little side piano here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good. Now, since we've been working this hip, been teasing you, uh, tricking you a little, but we've been multitasking here. We were working the foot, but guess what? We were in a nice little hip stretch. Let's go ahead and stretch that hip. Hinge at the waist and come on forward. Breathe out. I want you to continue to breathe here. Just sustain it if you can for as one to two breaths. In, out, relax the neck, relax the shoulders, breathing in and out. Now to get out of this pose, we need to tighten our belly muscles, supporting our lower back. Tight belly, tight belly, come on up, breathe in, 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 in. And take that, those hands and help that leg release it. Ooh. Now I want you to take a breath, close your eyes. Do you notice the difference between this leg and this leg? All these little tingling feeling. Blood and chi is moving through this leg. Take a breath, in, out. This leg is alive. Okay, this one's getting jealous. We need to work on it. So let's go ahead, lift that leg up and go ahead and cross it now, okay? We're going to interlock those fingers into those toes. Here we go. Now just be with this for a bit. If it's too much for you, if your toes haven't been separated in a while, if they've been snugged together, go ahead and be with this. Relax the shoulders, maybe close your eyes and breathe in, out, breathing in and out. Ooh, okay, we're gonna undo those fingers. No, we're not gonna undo them. We need to rotate the ankle. We're gonna rotate the ankle. I almost skipped that part, didn't I? We're gonna rotate the ankle. I always do three times at least, one way, and I'm going the other way. Ooh, this, this ankle's a little grumpy. Which one's grumpy for you? Have you noticed that one side's happier than the other? Okay, done. Now undo those fingers. And let's go ahead and rub into the bottom of our foot. Let's stimulate our the feet here. They need some love. So I'm taking my thumbs, my thumbs, and using my fingers on the other side, and I'm just pressing into them. Okay, you're gonna notice that some parts of the bottom of the feet, ooh, that really hurts, that's kind of grumpy. Well, you know, some people say, press a little harder on those grumpy parts because there's stagnation there. And some people will say, you know what? Be good to yourself, love yourself. Get back to that point later on, okay? So find what your happy medium is in pressing onto the bottoms of your feet. Don't forget the heel, okay? And now, one by one by one by one, we're going to squeeze and give a little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with each toe. So I'm gonna squeeze and wiggle this baby toe, then the fourth toe, then the middle toe, whoosh! then the second toe, and then the big toe. This little piggy, ooh, this one's a big piggy at the end, great. Okay, now I'm gonna slap onto my feet. Awesome, perfect. Now let's work on that hip, this hip. Make sure your foot is nice and stable below. Breathe in here, hinge at the waist, Come on forward. You got it. Ooh, how do you
how did this one feel? Let's take three breaths here. Breathe in, out, inhaling, exhale, breathe in, and out. Perfect. Now engage your belly muscles. So squeeze your belly muscles to support your lower back. Inhale as you press up. Well done. Take both hands. Let's help that leg off. Ooh, ah. Now notice, they're both more even. Now we have energy, chi, blood moving through the whole body. We're ready to get going for the rest of our day. Before we close our practice, we're gonna reach our toes in front of us, okay? So I'm gonna go side profile here in case my feet come out of the frame. I'm going to reach my feet in front. So you don't need to turn to the side. I just wanted to make sure that um, you saw the full um, what's happening here because I do prefer that your back is supported. I want you to draw your belly in and lift your heart up. Breathe in here and out. Now if you feel a little extra, you want a little extra, I want you to bend the knees, plant your feet down and see if you can lift the hips up. Reverse table. Breathing in and release, breathe out. Woo, we really challenged ourselves with that pose, didn't we? Okay, I'm gonna come on back to the center to close off our practice. I want us to shake everything out. Shake out those legs. Okay, so before I'm shaking my legs out, I'm holding onto my chair. Shake the legs out, okay? And best of all, and you know if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm a big fan of tapping on our channels and our meridians of the body. So let's go ahead and tap the top of our shoulder and then it's gonna tap all the way down. Good, now turn the palm and tap on the inside and then come across the chest and tap on the outside. Turn the palm, come on the inside of the arm. Good, tap all the way across. Now I want you to gently or firmly press on the out and on the in. All the way across, down, and up. We're gonna do that one more time. Breathing. <sighs> Breathing. <sighs> Good, shake it out. Perfect. Let's close our practice. Let's take our feet hip width distance apart. Take the arms all the way up. We're gonna make today a great day. Set that intention as we close our practice. You did something wonderful for your body. You moved the chi, the blood. Remember, motion is lotion. Let's close our practice, setting the intention for the day. Let's make this a great day. Thank you. Namaste. Well done, everyone. If you liked that class, please subscribe to me. Comment in the comment section and hit that notification bell so that whenever I post, you're gonna get the newest, latest video. Thank you so much. Have a great day.